Assalamu alaikum. Today's um, video, uh, I, ho I hope it's just going to be a bit of a chat really. I'm just kind of like chilling on my sofa with my cup of tea and um, so I'm, hope I'm probably not going to edit this too much so I hope that you don't mind me just kind of babbling away. But um, I wanted to make this video um, to celebrate the fact that I am entering my 25th week of pregnancy, alhamdulillah. Um, there's been many reasons why I haven't wanted to speak um, kind of openly about my pregnancy until this point um, and I, can't, I kind of just wanted to treat those first few weeks as you know quite it's quite a sensitive time isn't it and I just wanted to kind of give my baby the best chance possible to grow and be healthy and safe and strong before I started kind of talking quite openly about it. So I just wanted to share with you kind of what's been going on over the last few weeks and kind of talk talk you through um, where I'm feeling, like how I'm feeling about the pregnancy. Um, so I would say that, um, you know, falling pregnant is a, is a huge blessing from Allah, alhamdulillah. Um, I feel so lucky and so blessed to have been given this opportunity and I know that so many people you know want children and try to have children and find it really difficult and um, you know I hope that we can make dua for those people that they're that, that they get the blessing that they so hope for um, because I know you know it's every woman's nightmare being in that process of sort of um, watching the calendar shall we say and so um, yeah, I, the you know the first the first few weeks for me were quite challenging. Um, I think I was quite lucky. I escaped really really severe morning sickness, um, but I did kind of feel quite sick and immensely tired and working full time, being in quite a demanding job. Um, I found that quite strenuous, um, but I'm kind of just glad that those days are over now, really, and I don't particularly want to dwell on them too much because definitely from about 16 weeks onwards, I started to feel much, much, much better. Um, and I think that, I think what's really interesting about pregnancy is that it's so much more than just a physical journey, you know? Um, I knew that there were gonna be physical things that would come alongside it, obviously, um, you know, that's unavoidable, but I think it's a real spiritual journey and, a really emotional journey as well like um, I my emotions have been up and down but <clears throat> I mean I think generally I've been okay like I don't think I've given my husband too much of a hard time you might say differently um, but I think that it's just the spiritual journey that you go on and that connection with your with your body um, and the changes that you see happening in your body and knowing that that's because you're giving life to something else and someone else um it's quite overwhelming when you kind of like really really think about it and because i feel very much like this is you know the will of allah it's it's hard to kind of go through this process without constantly reflecting on that and so therefore kind of like connecting to your faith and your religion in another way um and i think it's it's just it's just helped me put a lot of things about my own life into perspective. I think when you're carrying a child or expecting a child, like it really makes you reflect on your own childhood experiences and you start to think, okay, what was good, what was bad, you know, what do I want to recreate um, for my own child? What do I want to avoid? Um, how can I give this? this little person the best possible chance of life and and the best um kind of education in so many different aspects you know um so I've done a lot of thinking and a lot of reflecting um and you know just making a lot of dua and trying to really think about what I can do to strengthen my own imam and bring myself closer to Allah in order to um, kind of outspill those benefits onto my child when when it arrives. Um, 
yeah, so at the moment, 25 weeks in, I'm feeling much more energetic than I have been. I definitely have that kind of like second wind, although the last week has been a bit um, crazy in terms of insomnia and these crazy sleeping things and I can't get comfortable and I'm kind of like um, just staying awake really, really late thinking about the most ridiculous things and, you know, whether it's about reorganising my house or going back to work or buying a new car or you know, the things that I've got to do or, you know, um, one of the biggest challenges for me and one of the things that has played on my mind so much already is um, the whole working mum or stay-at-home mum debate and I've just really kind of like tormented myself about what I should do and what, um, what decisions... I have to, you know, that lie ahead of me that I have to make and it's just been really challenging because I I want to give 100% of myself to my child but on the other hand I also feel that I have a lot to offer and a lot to give and a lot still left in me um, within my career and my job and it's been very important to me and it's been something that's helped me to grow as a person. Um, and you, you know, you question and you analyse everything down from, can I afford it? Is it worth it? Do I want my child to be with someone else during the day? You know, I think it's every mother's nightmare, really. Um, and I think, you know, I, I haven't come to any conclusions. Um, I'm kind of just going to see how things go, really. But, you know, I think also having a child is about sacrifice. And it is about putting that person first and, you know, above above your own needs and above what you desired for yourself you know it's it's a time of complete selflessness really like you just want to do everything that you possibly can um i think what's been really lovely so far in this pregnancy is how i feel like i have reconnected with my own mother um i mean we've we've always had a, a really close relationship anyway but it's different now and it feels different and that's really special and I think that it's kind of, pregnancy has reinforced to me the message of Islam about how important mothers are and has really reinforced just that sense of like connectedness and closeness to your mother. Um, so it's been really nice to share things with her that, you know, I might not have done otherwise and have conversations about, you know, when she was pregnant, when she's talked about me and my brothers when we were small and you know it just opens the door to conversations that you might not have I think what's also really interesting is how traditions come out all of a sudden um and I was I was at home um, visiting my mom during the summer and we had a bit of a clear out and we were looking through some of my old things and we came across um some stuff that had been made for me by my grandmother. I'm going to introduce you to them now. Um, but it was really, really lovely because... Um, so basically, this is one of them. <laughs> this was the little teddy that um, my grandma um, had handmade for me. And there's a few of them. Um, there's this one. Oh, hello. And uh, where's the other one? Oh my gosh, one's got lost. Here we go. There we go. Now, they might not look that special, and fair enough, they've, you know, they've been around for a while. But my mum cleaned them all and was kind of like brushing them like they were live animals or something. And she was kind of like fluffing them up and getting them ready. And she was saying, you know, your grandma made them for you, and I think you should have them and give them to the baby. And it's just really, really nice to have like those kind of sentimental things that you can pass down and um, this chappy here was knitted for me by my auntie um, and I used to absolutely love this teddy because it's just so well like put together and so well made and it's like the little birdie on the shoulder and I remember it, I, it brought back so many memories for me um, and so I was really excited to bring these home and I think again um, knitting is a bit of a tradition in, in my family um, and so my mum's just been to visit my aunties and she's come back and brought, let's put my tea up there for a minute, um, 
she's come back and brought some gifts that my aunties have made for me. And this is um, this is like a little cardigan, obviously, with a really cute little hood and tassel. Now, I don't know whether this comes up on camera, but it is actually humongous and will probably probably fit the baby when it's about one year old but still it's really really beautiful um and i have this this hand knitted um i don't know if that's clear like shawl kind of thing which it's kind of like a tradition in our family like every every newborn baby you know will have a shawl made by auntie jam um and it's just I guess that's been a really nice thing about the pregnancy so far has been how old traditions have come alive again and how you connect with people in the family that you maybe don't talk to that often or you don't see that often um, and, and suddenly, you know, the those traditions come back and, and, and it's just really nice. It's nice to kind of have that sense of like coming together and new life and... Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's really nice like that. It's really lovely. And I think, you know, um, I just feel really overwhelmed by the fact that there is this little life inside of me and um, that all I want to do is nurture it and protect it and kind of savour each moment. And even in the times when I feel really frustrated because I'm tired or, you know, I've got backache or something is sort of annoying me a little bit. I still think, you know, gosh, I'm so blessed and and this is such a special time. And I know that when the baby's here, like I will probably miss the fact that it's not inside of me anymore. Um, and so in a sense, like I feel like I can't really talk too much about symptoms and feelings of, you know, this and that. And because pregnancy for me has been much more of a kind of a deeper kind of journey, I suppose. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm re I'd be really, I would be really, really excited to hear about if you, if there are any traditions and things that um, that you guys have gone through, or you know, things that have been passed down to you or your children, because I think that's always really nice. I think that sentimentality is really lovely. Um, and if you've got any tips for me, then that would be amazing because in reality, I don't really know what I'm doing. And although I thought I might be a person who would read up on absolutely everything, I actually haven't at all. I've kind of avoided kind of reading too much around pregnancy. I just wanted to go with the flow and feel it in my own way. Um, but, you know, if you do have any tips, then I will... I will definitely be open to that. Um, I've just had like a really long holiday over the summer and I'm going back to work tomorrow. And I'm kind of thinking, oh, you know, part of me just really does not want to go back. And part of me is thinking, actually, no, this is good because 25 weeks in and um, I feel at the moment like this is never going to end. <laughs> like, I want this baby to be here right now and I've still got a very long way to go. So maybe work will be a good distraction for me and it will help pass a bit of time. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll be, I'll be excited to see what the next few weeks are going to bring and I will update you, um, you know, a little bit more with, I don't know, maybe things that I buy or products that I think have been really helpful. Um, but let me know if there's any particular angle that you want me to go down with this because I'm not really sure how to talk about it really. Um, yeah, okay. So that's my update for now and I will um, be back soon with another video. Alright, take care. Salam alaikum.